You know, people complain about that. They're like, why do you keep feeding on that guy? Why are you hurting that guy? Because <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why the best self-defense weapon in some ways is the famous steel chair. Ah! <laughs> All right, bear with me. This is going to make sense. The steel chair. <laughs> So I am getting hit with a steel chair. <laughs> you want to get hit with a steel chair? <laughs> Obviously, I'm not saying that we're going to carry around a chair. Yeah. <laughs> you are not Terry Funk or Mick Foley. You can't carry around a chair all the time for self-defense. But it's an important thing to discuss for self-defense for a couple of reasons. One, when you think of using a chair, when I say we're going to use a steel chair for self-defense, you immediately, immediately think like WWE chair shot. Yep, I'm right? ready. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Um, and that's important because that's a preconceived notion that we have in our head. But then once I hand that to you, and I think, okay, you got to use that to defend yourself, what do you think you should do with it? You think you should bash me with it? Like I don't WWE know, I feel like stuff. This would be good too. Right Jabbing right, right with right it. Right to your throat. Jabbing with it. Yeah. So. I feel like it's. This is kind of hard. It's easily defended, I feel like. Right. So in his, in our minds, in your mind right now, when I show you the steel chair, we have one idea of how it should work before we've touched it. Then once we touch it, we have a little bit different idea of how it works. But the truth is we have to go one step further and actually think about it, create a technique, and practice with it. The reason that this is important is this is a thing. Visualization is something you should do even... With, with anything that we're using the steel chair as an example one because it's funny and because it's what we had I've thought about if I was right here messing with this stuff or doing something and someone came in that made me nervous or I was unsure about or someone came in like yo yeah I'm here to beat your ass <laughs> right I've already thought about that I would pick up one of these chairs and use it for self-defense and you think well what you can't live your whole life thinking like that. Well, I can. That's how I think all the time. <laughs> yeah. But that visualization that if I am right here and I'm attacked, now I'm giving away one of my, so you guys don't want to dojo store me. I'm giving <laughs> don't away. Don't do it when he's standing by the chairs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have something for every corner of the room, right? You're at home. Where do you sit at home? On the couch. On the couch. Yeah. And you've no doubt thought in your mind, like what you would do during a home invasion, right? Mm -hmm. So like someone kicks in your front door, what's your first move? Me personally, yeah. I, I honestly always have my gun on the table right next to me. There you go. I don't go. live with anybody. I live by myself. So like, yeah. it's just sitting right so there. So you, but you've, you've, you've put in your mind yes. a bunch of times, door pops open. It's right there. Right, right there. Right, my hand is right there. And you visualize that in your mind. Mm -hmm. So that's cut down a step. And we're going to do some home defense stuff soon. We're going to talk about that exact scenario soon. But just wherever you are, whatever you do and your normal thing, if you just visualize that's one less step you have to do. So if you work in a truck or you work in a factory or you work in an office and you work and say, right now, shit popped off, what would be my first move? You're more likely to do that thing. Mm -hmm. You're still going to like probably go like, ah! yeah. you know, there's still going to be a moment where you freeze up and don't do shit probably. Mm -hmm. But you're at least a little bit closer. So <clears throat> how do we actually use a chair for self-defense? I mean, that's tough. That, that I feel like is a weird... You need to poke them? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we should do, we're gonna do, um, do it hard. Hard? Yeah, do it hard. <laughs> yeah, a big wide back like that. You know what I mean? Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look how wide this is. Look at that real estate. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So, the, well, you're spreading the force out. Damn, these jets. Yeah, let's break it off. Yeah, yeah. We tore that thing up. These are like a ton. You do well? Yeah, go a little harder? Yeah. Just don't hit my head. I'm not gonna hit, I'm a professional. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna hit your head. I feel uh, like that's not gonna hurt yeah. anyone. <laughs> Are you serious? That, no, that right there. You think this is not gonna hurt? If I'm coming at you? No. Yeah. Right, so you grab <laughs> it, right? So that's, that's a good point. This is exactly how we're gonna use this. <laughs> I like it more folded up and use that part and right into someone's throat. 
Oh, that's well. That's how they do it. You know, WWE. They hold it like this. They're not allowed to do. They're not allowed to do uh, headshots anymore. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're not allowed to hit each other in the head with a chair anymore. Stomach and back. Yeah. So they go. They this one. Boom! Doubles them over. Right. And then this one. Crack. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> right. It's just easier to fake. Yeah. They're not allowed to take chair shots at the dome anymore. Oh. Bang. In the WWE. In the independence and stuff, they still do that. No, this is exactly, and this is going to go for a chair. This is how to use a chair for self-defense, how to use a stool, anything with legs. Jay doesn't think that this is really a weapon. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I feel like it's easily defended. Dude, use this thing like a lion tamer and keep yeah. a dude back. You know what I mean? Yeah. you got to contest with all this. And sure, maybe you think you could grab it. And if you grab it, right, good luck to you. you yeah, you've grabbed it. Yeah. Right, But now we got this between us. Yeah. This is buying me time and buying me space. And in self-defense, every second where nothing's happening usually favors the defender. Yeah, I mean, you can't do anything. If you're right, like we're both like fighting over yeah, this thing. Like, like, give me this, give me this. Yeah. And then if I want, if I like, I'm like, give me this shit, you can fucking have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But in this moment. It's like I can't throw a punch or anything. I'm yeah, you can't punch this. me. So if you don't have it, and that's if you grab it. Yeah. Because if we're really going at it, dude, and you're and thinking about sticking and if you're your drinking, own, like if it's in a bar and you're drunk, and you're thinking about sticking your little hands in here, dude, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a, a dangerous thing. Yeah, you lean in and then. And then we also have the option of a close range. Watch out! A close range like chest pass. Yeah. You know what I mean? We should see. And if you don't think that would hurt, like a lot of people are going to say that they think it should be like a swing like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like to throw it. You've yeah. seen, dude. Oh yeah. Bar stools oh, yeah. across the room. Yeah. You've probably seen that in real life. Yeah. Uh, let's look at this. We're not gonna test throwing steel chairs at each other, <laughs> and you. we're using a steel chair because that's what I had. Yeah. Right. It's not just because that's what they use. You know, and it was to illustrate the point of like visualization and our preconceived notions about weapons. But the chest pass, as far as like, like to attack somebody, like, <laughs> dude. And it's coming straight, straight at you. Yeah. You, you try know, and knock it down. Yeah. When things come straight at you, it's harder to like to pick them up. Yeah. Like if I'm if I throw this or yeah. lob this, just... yeah, people's people's peripheral tends to pick things up faster than their direct division. If you're already looking at me and I throw this straight yeah. at you, it is more accurate. If I do this at you, yeah, this shit is hitting you. Yeah. You're not gonna like. <laughs> matrix out of the way yeah. you know what i mean use them big chest muscles chuck that thing at that tree like hard yeah that would hurt dude that was one leg yeah it's like ecw up in here like like shove no don't don't load it up just shove it like this don't load it up yeah just boom chest pass that's all that's all you need because what is, what is our purpose for self-defense? We're trying to get the guy to stop doing whatever he was just doing. And I promise you, if you chuck a steel chair at someone's face <laughs> or legs, yeah, they're gonna... yeah, they do like this, yeah. but the chest pass, the chest pass is how you use a chair, bar stool, something like that for self-defense. I think it's higher percentage and it's just not the kind of thing you would think of after we did the, where we played equalizer in the grocery store. Yeah. I know people that watched were walking around like thinking, what would I use? Yeah. What would I use as a weapon? Which is not a bad idea. But I think this. Dude. <laughs> I went to confront this guy and I got beat up by a steel chair. <laughs> it's so sudden. Yeah. It's so sudden. Like, straight out of dude. Yeah. Bah! You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, we are jacking this chair up. You want to get a shot to the back? Yeah, we need to do that. We'll go inside and do that. Right. But it's got to hit flat. I kind of want to do it too. I know you do. <laughs> we'll get what you. What do you mean? You want to? You want to? You want to hit me with it, or you, you want to hit me with it, or you want to take one? I want to take it. No, we can't. We can't hit a kid with it's a chair. Not like hard, but like. No, we cannot hit a kid with a chair on uh, YouTube. No, not like off camera. No, off camera. <laughs> you just want to get hit with a chair? Yeah, I, I like. I want to be a professional wrestler, so. I understand. Ten technically. It's we'll like, give you something to do. We'll yeah, give you something to do here in a second. Just don't hit my head. I'm not gonna hit, I'm a professional. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna hit your head. Woo! <laughs> Did that dent? No? No. If we use that chair, but like without actually trying to hurt, like not like 
grabbing it and slamming it on someone's head. Like, using it to, like, jump off of it or, like, suddenly... Like, using it when you're not holding it? Yeah. No, there's something to that. There's something to using a chair that you haven't actually picked up yet. Like, not just... Obviously, we have environmental factors. If I can keep something between us, you either have to go around it one way or the other. We do this shit yeah. here. Or yeah. you have to move it out of the way. Yeah. But, dude, one... Watch out. Pretend these are your shins. You know what I mean? If... if you know that you're gonna have to make a break for it. You put a foot there, jam that guy into the shins. You know what I mean? That gives you that. Someone like you with the legs, you can jump up on the chair and kick someone. A sabu you? Yeah. All right. Run up, jump. Run up One jump. Foot, kick someone right. right in the face. Not this chair, obviously. Yeah, not that one. We, but like, if this was a chair. If this you know, it was a good chair. Oh, flying knee all day. I'm standing here. You right. run up, run right right. on the chair. Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh yeah. Twist it. Yeah. Woo! Now you got two. Now Not you right. are officially. That's what I'm saying. Those things are all jagged and stuff. Like, even if you're not hitting somebody with that, as soon as. Oh. Super kick party.